Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. I am an authentic immortal, but I am a big villain. Chapter 41 The intense pain finally convinced Li Luo that this was real and that he was not dreaming. This, is this true? Li Luo still didn't believe it, and stared at Ye Yun closely, as if he wanted to get a definite answer. Seeing the urgency in the other party's eyes, Ye Yun smiled, people like Li Luo are easy to control. He wants to fight for the throne, but he doesn't have the corresponding resourcefulness, and he doesn't have his own foundation in the court, so he needs help from someone. Even if he will become a puppet, Li Luo is willing. It is impossible for him to just sit and watch the two imperial brothers leave him behind and fight for the throne. Ye Yun's eyes turned slightly cold, and he said coldly, When is what I, Ye Yun, said to be false? Or, do you think I will lie to you? The slightly cold voice instantly woke up Li Luo. Yes? What is the identity of the other party? The other party is the dignified young master of the Ye family. How could he deceive himself about such a trivial matter? There is no need for that. Thinking of this, Li Luo suddenly felt ecstatic. It was the right time for me to follow Yun Shi to the Ye family this time, and I got the support of the young master of the Ye family so easily. If he wanted to fight for the throne, it would be much easier. The two imperial brothers who were like two high mountains in front of his eyes are no longer a problem now. All the problems are all solved. Li Luo originally thought that the throne would be getting farther and farther away from him, but he didn't expect it to become so close at this moment, as if it was at his fingertips. Of course, there is no such thing as a free lunch. Since you want me to win the throne for you, then you should know what you should do. Ye Yun's voice sounded again, making Li Luo, who was originally ecstatic, startled slightly. It's not a shameful thing to do things for. Ye Yun, the other party is the young master of the Ye family. In the future, he will definitely become the master of the Ye family. Even if he surrenders to the other party and helps the other party to do things, he will definitely not be ashamed. Thinking of this, Li Luo quickly knelt down on one knee and folded his hands in front of him. Young master, Li Luo will only obey the young master's orders from now on. The young master told me to go east, I will never go west, the young master told me to chase the dog, I will never chase the chicken, everything is according to the young master's orders. He also made a lot of determination before choosing to surrender to Ye Yun. But as long as he can defeat the two emperor brothers to win the throne, all this is nothing at all. Ye Yun nodded, his goal had been achieved, he assured with a relaxed face. Okay, from now on, you are my subordinate and I will support you and help you get what you want. There is no need to say so much, a simple guarantee can completely reassure Li Luo. Hearing this, Li Luo finally felt relieved, for he had found a strong backer. As long as he has the support of this backer, he will not worry about not being able to win the battle for the throne in the future. Yun Shi, who was teasing Shui Kailin, naturally heard the conversation between the two, but she didn't take it seriously. These things don't have much to do with her. The power of the Dragon King is a threat to the Yun family, if the third prince Li Luo is on the throne, and he is also Ye Yun's subordinate, then naturally it will not pose a threat to the Yun family. And she doesn't have to continue to endure Li Luo everywhere, she can just reject Li Luo directly. On the father's side, Yung Zi can also find a good excuse, so she doesn't have to be embarrassed by her father anymore. When Ye Yun checked Li Luo's relevant information again, he found that there was an extra column of loyalty under his attributes. And Li Luo's loyalty value is not low, directly 65 points. It is really rare to have such a high degree of loyalty as soon as you surrender. At least you don't have to worry that this guy will betray you casually. He is a relatively high credibility for the time being. The majestic ferry ship sailed all the way to Ye's house. After waiting until it was almost noon, they finally arrived at the Ye family. Land. At the spacious periphery outside the clan land, Yun Yao had already led a group of people to wait here. Seeing the familiar symbol of the huge fairy ship in the sky, Yun Yao naturally knew that it was the fairy ship from the own family. Coming. Ye Yun's mother, Yun Yao, had a faint smile on her face. She hadn't seen Yun Shi for a long time, and it was rare for Yun Shi to come here once, so. She must keep Yun Shi well and stay for a few more days. There are many people following behind and even many soldiers can be seen. These are elite soldiers trained by the Ye family. It is used to greet, and it can be seen how many faces the people on the ferry boat have. 
The huge ferry ship slowly descended from the sky, and the power of the ferry driving the ferry ship became much weaker. Soon, the majestic and huge ferry ship finally landed on the ground. Ye Yun immediately noticed Yun Yeo, own mother, who was standing in front of everyone. Jumping off the ferry boat, Ye Yun came to Yun Yeo. Mother, why did you come in person? Didn't you agree that I took my cousin back? Hearing this, Yun Yao's jade finger tapped Ye Yun's forehead lightly. You, aren't I worried that you can't handle these things well? And I haven't seen Yun Shi for a long time, of course I have to come sooner. Saying that, Yun Yao directly set her eyes on the ferry boat. Dressed in white, like a misty fairy, Yun Shi floated down slowly. With a light figure and a charming figure, Yun Yao couldn't help but shine in front of her eyes. It has been a long time since I saw Yun Shi, and Yun Yao couldn't help but sigh. In her heart, it really is the 18th change of women's university, which changes every year. I haven't seen her for a while, but I didn't expect Yun Shi to be a slim girl. Yun Yao couldn't wait to step forward, and grabbed Yun Shi's hand, as if she had something to say. Yun Zi, come and let my aunt take a good look, she has grown into a big girl, she is really beautiful. Yun Shi who was praised, quickly shook her head. No, aunt is the real beauty. Compared with aunt, Yun Zi is far behind. In front of Yun Yao, Yun Zi can be said to be so humble, so humble. This made Yun Yao even more satisfied. At the same time, her mind became more active. Li Luo also came down at this time, and after seeing Yun Yeo, he quickly cupped his hands and said respectfully, Mrs. Ye, I am Li Luo, the third prince of the Dragon King dynasty. This time, I will follow Miss Yun Zi to congratulate young Master Ye Yun for surviving the disaster. Seeing Li Luo's respectful appearance, although Yun Yao was a little surprised, it was only a little surprised. After all, there are too many people who want to curry favor with the Ye family. Um... Just nodded, Yun Yao didn't say anything to Li Luo, because the other party's identity was not enough. Li Luo also knew that the lady in front of her was the wife of the Ye family, and it was reasonable for her to behave like this, and she didn't feel any embarrassment. Afterwards, Yun Yao grabbed Yun Shi and walked towards Ye's house. Chapter 42 Looking back at Li Luo, Ye Yun said directly, Come on, what are you doing standing here, you can tell me something about your two imperial brothers. It is likely to be of great help to our next plan. Now that he knew that the second prince Li Fei was the son of fortune, Ye Yun really wanted to know how different this Li Fei would be. Hearing this, Li Luo immediately looked ecstatic. Originally, I thought it would be a long time before Ye Yun would talk to me about this matter, but I didn't expect the action to be so fast, and I want to talk now. So he couldn't wait to follow, half a body behind Ye Yun, Li Luo explained the situation of his two emperor brothers while walking. From the news from Li Luo, Ye Yun also knew about the existence of the two emperor brothers of this guy. The eldest prince, Li Sun, is very talented. He is almost 30 years old now, has reached the middle stage of power, and has been in the court for the longest time. He has been in the court since he was 22 years old, and now he has been in the court for 8 years, and he has a very deep foundation in the court. Many officials are on Li Sun's side, supporting him to ascend the throne. However, although Li Sun has many people's support, and the cultivation base is good, he doesn't like to use any conspiracies. He is straightforward in everything, and there is no room for sand in his eyes. Showing himself in the process of fighting for the throne, he is also open and above board, with a completely positive image that many people admire. The second prince, Li Fei, is the son of fortune known to Ye Yun. The slightly different thing is that the second prince Li Fei was born of a court lady, his status was not high, and he was often bullied when he was young. It is precisely because of this that he was not seen since he was a child, no one is optimistic about him, and does not think he is qualified to compete for the throne. 26 years old, due to the late cultivation time, now it is only the cultivation base of supernatural power realm late stage. However, in order to show his own fairness, the Emperor of the Dragon King Dynasty allowed the son born to himself and a court lady to enter the court and participate in the battle for the throne. So at the age of 22, Li Fei also successfully entered the court. Although he entered the court much later than the first prince, after Li Fei entered the court, he quickly developed his own power. This performance made many people feel a little unbelievable. Even the first prince, who had never regarded him as an opponent, felt a strong sense of crisis. 
The little brother whom he looked down upon, a bitch born to a court lady, could develop to such a degree, the eldest prince Lee Soon never imagined. For some reason, the second prince Lee Fei seems to have a very strong personality. Many officials were overwhelmed by his powerful personality and were willing to stand by his side. As for what's hidden in it, it's beyond Li Luo's ability to know. Just after listening to Li Luo's narration, Ye Yun can't imagine what kind of son of fortune Li Fei is. The strong personality charm has conquered many officials, which feels a little nonsense, and I am afraid there is something hidden in it. If there are no accidents in the future, Li Fei will definitely become the Lord of the Dragon King in the future. Afterwards, Ye Yun briefly talked about own arrangements. That's it for now. When you go back this time, you will develop your own power well. Don't worry, since I said I will support you, I will definitely support you. Before you leave, I will arrange for people to go back with you. They are all strong men who are not weak and can be sent by you. But remember one thing, you'd better discuss it with me before doing anything, otherwise, once you act privately and cause any consequences, I will give up on you without hesitation. Li Luo was overjoyed when he heard these words. I didn't expect that I would have such a big windfall when I came out this time, it was simply amazing. He actually got the support of Ye Yun, of course. It can only be said that it is the support of Ye Yun. He doesn't deserve the Ye family's support right now. Ye Yun not only supports himself, but is also willing to arrange people for him to drive. You know, the person assigned to own is from the Ye family. Even if you haven't seen it, you know the strength must be good. Yes yes yes, we must discuss it. I will never act without authorization. Li Luo, who was ecstatic in his heart, had no other thoughts, so of course he agreed without hesitation. He knew that if he wanted to win the throne, the Ye family's support was necessary. With the Ye family's support, even a pig could ascend to the throne. In Ye Yun's eyes, he found that Li Luo's loyalty increased by another 5 points, reaching 70 points. Ding! Due to the intervention of the Master, there has been a major change in the battle for the throne of the Dragon King. The third prince Li Luo gained the support of his master, and his power increased greatly, which indirectly affected the battle for the throne of Son of Fortune Li Fei. He lost 500 luck points and his master gained 500 villain points. I just chose to support Li Luo, which affected Li Fei's luck. This is also expected by Ye Yun. Easy to get 500 luck points Ye Yun is in a good mood. Suddenly found that this Li Luo is quite pleasing to the eye, at least not so annoying now. Far away on the other side of the territory of the Dragon King dynasty, in the bedroom of the second prince Li Fei. At the moment, Li Fei is busy dealing with things. Suddenly, a bad feeling rose in Li Fei's heart. This feeling is very abrupt, without any warning. His right hand tightly grasped his chest, and this inexplicable palpitation made him very uncomfortable. What the hell is? Frowning deeply, Li Fei's eyes were very sharp. Soon, this feeling faded away. He just felt that somewhere, something bad was waiting for him. But when he thought of the power he now controls in the court, he suddenly became inflated. Again, although he entered the court a long time late, the power he controls now has even surpassed that of his own emperor brother Li Sun. As long as he is given enough time, he can be sure that he will become the only heir to the throne. He was just a concubine, born of the emperor and a court lady and he had been humiliated all along. If it weren't for the accidental inheritance of a peerless demon, he wouldn't be able to achieve his current status. That's right, Li Fei accepted the inheritance of a great demon and learned the blood devil formula. Of course he knew very well what the magic meant in the immortal domain. But he had no choice at all. I want to take revenge on those who once bullied On, and let those who once looked down on On look at me with admiration. If you want to, Win the throne and climb to the highest position, you must have enough strength. The strength of the supernatural power late stage realm shown now is just a fake. How could Li Fei, who had practiced the blood devil formula, be so weak? Chapter 43, the cultivation technique cultivated by the devil is not only domineering, but also full of killing. Generally, in order to improve their own strength, the devil will do whatever it takes, no matter how many people it kills, it will continue. Li Fei's roots are not outstanding, and his talent is not very good. Even if he cultivates immortal arts, his final achievements are very limited. Since this is the case, it is better to practice the magic formula. Although it hurts Tian He, it can make oneself stronger, and it can make oneself stronger in a 
short period of time. As long as I didn't expose the magic formula I was practicing, no one would dare to do anything to me. No one can say anything without evidence. What's more, Own has a special status. Although he is the second prince from a concubine, he is still very powerful in the court anyway. Or just show it in front of someone who cares. Even though he practiced the magic formula, Lee Fei did not become crazy because of it. He never took the initiative to hurt anyone, unless the other party took the initiative to provoke him. Li Fei, who was not controlled by the blood devil formula, was very grateful in his heart that he was not controlled by the magic formula. Maybe I am special, otherwise why I am not controlled by the magic formula. The current Li Fei, in fact, has already broken through to the power level, not weaker than his own brother at all. As for why, he was able to establish a powerful force in a much shorter time than the eldest prince Li Sun. Just because he obtained a terrifying tool in the inheritance of the peerless great demon. This tool is a group of puppets with terrifying strengths. There are as many as a thousand in number, and the strength of each puppet is in the marquee realm. You must know that there are a thousand puppets in the feudal realm, and these active personnel can arrange the corresponding formation, even in the face of the strong in the false god realm, they can have the strength to fight. More importantly, among these puppets there is a very strong puppet leader who can command all the puppets, and his strength has even reached the level of a pseudo-god. With the blessing of all the puppets, the commander of this false god realm can even rival the false god. To have such a powerful force at such a young age, completely under Li Fei's control, is already very terrifying. As for the officials of the Dragon King dynasty, most of their strength is generally in the realm of feudal lords, feudal kings, or false gods. Many of them are interested in Li Fei's otherwise terrifying subordinates, and they can't help but wonder if there is a powerful force behind Li Fei. Therefore, some officials were in a neutral state before, and then they gradually favored Li Fei. Of course, there are still some strengths in the Dragon King dynasty, quasi sages, and even saint generals. They did not participate in this battle for the throne. The current situation is not in a hurry, they only need to be loyal to the current emperor of the Dragon King dynasty. As for the rest, we can talk about it later. Li Fei practiced the blood devil formula, and he was very thirsty for blood, especially the blood of the practitioner. Therefore, when he reached a certain level, he would usually find someone with a cultivation base from the death row, and use it for his own cultivation. Because everything was done very covertly, no one knew what Li Fei was doing. As for the death row prisoners who were taken away, they were just guys who were about to die, so there was nothing to worry about. Here, ye family land. Yun Yao took Yun Shi's hand and talked non-stop along the way. Yun Zi, you saw Yun Er just now, how do you feel? Is he much more handsome than before? He has also grown into a big boy without knowing it. Don't look at him now, in fact, he is very good. You have seen a few Qi deviation people who will wake up again, and the cultivation base will not fall, but will become stronger. Yun Er happened to do it, it's not as if F didn't drop the cultivation base because of this but it made power. After hearing these words, Yun Shi turned her head and glanced at Ye Yun who was following far behind. There was brilliance in her beautiful eyes, and she was still a little curious about the current Ye Yun. How exactly can a Qi deviation person erase the negative effects of Qi deviation? Of course Yun Yao also noticed Yun Shi's gaze, and the smile on the corner of her mouth was even bigger. Yun Zi, you also know that Auntie and I have only one son, and you are like my half-daughter. So I hope, you can really be my daughter. This has been said very clearly, Yun Shi will not be able to hear it. A faint blush appeared on the originally fair and pretty face. This. Auntie, I think it's better to take your time. I just came here, and I'm really in a hurry. She didn't refuse, but she didn't immediately. Agree either. Although she has a crush on Ye Yun, as a girl, she still needs to be reserved. As someone who has been there before, Yun Yao can naturally hear the deep meaning of Yun Shi's words. I am not ready yet, but I don't refuse. This meaning is already obvious. Nodding repeatedly, Yun Yao agreed with a smile all over her face. Of course, you can live here during this time, the more you get to know Yun Er, the more you will know how outstanding he is. Moreover, your father mentioned this matter to me a long time ago, and you were too young at that time, so you didn't know about it. Yun Shi was even more embarrassed when she heard it. She didn't understand anything before, how could she know what her father was thinking? At that time, night gradually fell. Under the moonlight, 
Ye Yun's palace was very lively. Then Yung Zi should be arranged to stay at the place where the guests live, but Yun Yeo directly gave Yung Zi to Ye Yun, asking him to take it back to clean up the dust. Originally, Yun Shi wanted to refuse, but she couldn't bear to be too enthusiastic with this aunt, so she could only reluctantly accept it in the end. As for Li Luo, this guy didn't dare to have any other thoughts at all, and went to the place where the guests were resting honestly. In the past, Li Luo might have wanted to chase Yun Shi fiercely and never give up. But now, he has no courage at all. Ye Yun's mother, Yun Yeo, is very obvious, as long as Li Luo is not a fool, she can see it. If he still dared to pester Yun Shi, he might really be overwhelmed later. And he still wanted Ye Yun's support, so how could he offend Ye Yun? Although Yun Zi is really beautiful, it also makes Li Luo's heart flatter. But compared to On Huang Tebei, it is nothing at all. As long as he can win the throne, he can have any kind of beautiful woman he wants, and there is no need to lose his greatest support because of a woman. Chapter 44, In Li Luo's eyes, fighting for the throne is the most important thing, and all other things can come after. Because if he is not qualified to compete for the throne, what will happen to On in the future, in fact, he can already imagine. Either be assaulted fish prince, or be killed. Other than these two options, there are few other options. He is an ambitious person, how could he be willing to be a salted fish prince, and he doesn't want to be killed, so there is only one way to go, and that is to move forward bravely. In Ye Yun's palace, looking at the majestic surroundings, Yun Shi couldn't help sighing in her heart, it really deserves to be the young master of the Ye family's place, so luxurious. Even Yun Fang, the head of the Yun family, the palace owned by Yun Shi's father, was not so luxurious. It can be seen that what is the background of the Ye family. More importantly, Ye Yun is not the master of the Ye family now, he is just the young master. The master of the Ye family is Ye Chang Kong, and the palace owned by the other party will only be more luxurious and magnificent. People cannot be compared with each other, because people are more angry than others. Ye Yun, who was sitting on the main seat, said half-jokingly, Okay, sister, let's sit down and eat together. These things are rare and rare ingredients, usually I am reluctant to take them out. That is to say, I am so generous when you are here. Hearing this, Yun Shi glared at Ye Yun lightly, and whispered, You know how to coax me, I don't believe what you say. Although she said so verbally, Yun Shi was still very sweet in her heart. I feel that I am valued, and of course I am in a good mood. Xiaohi and Chu Lan stood aside to serve her. Both of them had seen Yun Shi when they were young so they were quite familiar with her. As for Yu Ming Kong, he also stood aside, feeling a little jealous in his heart. How much she wanted to be like Yun Shi, sitting with Ye Yun and enjoying a good meal, but she knew it. Couldn't be done. My current status is not enough for me to sit with Ye Yun. She is now a personal servant girl, even if she is envious and jealous, she must recognize her own identity. At this moment, Yu Ming Kong couldn't help but feel regretful again. If I had agreed to Ye Yun's request at that time, I wouldn't have to stand here like a personal servant girl now. But unfortunately, there is no medicine for regret in this world, even if Yu Ming Kong feels very regretful at this time, he can only endure it silently. I hope that some actions of Own can change Ye Yun's view of Own, and at the same time turn himself into a regular. While there was laughter and laughter in the palace, some people were still sleeping in the open air, rushing all night. This person is naturally Yu Qingxin. After he finished the competition yesterday, he packed up his things and fled overnight. Because he knew that if the news about him challenging Ye Yun got out, the Yu family would not easily let him go without Ye Yun doing it. But it's a pity, Yu Qingshan himself really thinks too much. Ye Yun wasn't bored enough to report on this kind of thing. The Yu family didn't know that Yu Qingshan challenged Ye Yun, let alone that Yu Qingshan had left the Yu family. In the Yu family, although Yu Qingshan belonged to the young generation of geniuses, he would not always be in the spotlight, so no one cared too much about why he suddenly disappeared. After all, everyone has their own time to practice, maybe he is practicing somewhere, so no one thinks about it. After a night and a day of rushing, Yu Qingshan has finally moved away from Yu's house. In order to be able to rush to the site of the historic site quickly, he bought the fastest speed beast an extremely fast spirit beast. In order to buy Sky Speed Beast, he almost used up all his savings. No way, people are poor? 
but when I think that as long as I can discover the ancient monuments, there may be many precious things inside, and I will sell them casually at that time, and none of them are worth the spirit stones. Relying on the extremely fast airspeed beast, he finally arrived in Kanglin State after a night and a day. He didn't rest for more than 10 hours, but he didn't feel any fatigue. Even the speed beast he was riding was exhausted. After flying for more than 10 hours, even a spirit beast will feel tired. After entering Kanglin City, many people in Yuking Mountain looked at Kanglin City, which is the closest city to the historic site. If you want to go to the ancient monuments, you must be fully prepared. If you are not prepared enough, once you go in, you may not even have the chance to come back. Therefore, he must be well prepared. If his teacher is still there, maybe he can help him. Make suggestions at this time, but now his teacher is very weak and is slowly recovering, so he can't bother him. What Yu Qingshan didn't know at all was that someone had been silently following him far, far behind. After he entered Kanglin City, this person also entered Kanglin City together. And this person is Yun Lan sent by Ye Yun. The cultivation base itself is higher than that of Yu Qingshan, coupled with its own ability to hide, Yu Qingshan hardly notices anything. Seeing Yu Qingshan enter a hotel, Yunlin frowned slightly, thinking, Kanglin City, why did this guy come here? She couldn't figure out why Yu Qingshan rushed here in such a hurry. Was there something here that he cared deeply about? Or is there something that should not be known to others? Of course, all of. This is unclear right now. Yunlin is going to continue to follow up, but she still needs to report the current situation to Ye Yun first. Arriving at a hotel opposite, Yunlin found a room where she could observe the outside environment and state. In the room, Yun Lan took out a crystal-like transparent spar, run the spirit power and inject it into it, and the crystal-like translucent spar emits bursts of fluorescence. Then, Ye Yun's figure appeared on top of the crystal stone. Little Lord. When seeing this figure, Yunlin stood there respectfully. Yunlin, where are you now? Where is Yuking Mountain? Is there any movement with that guy? Hearing this, Yunlan hurriedly told Ye Yun everything she saw and heard along the way. Young master, after Yukingshan packed up all the things, he bought an airspeed beast and went to Kanglin Prefecture without stopping. Now I am in Kanglin City. Yu Qingshan has already found a hotel to live in, temporarily staying there. I don't know what he is doing now. After listening to these things, Ye Yun nodded thoughtfully. Yu Qingshan has a great saint's remnant soul as its master, maybe, his master of the great saint's remnant soul may have given him any treasure map. Chapter 45, after all, Yu King Mountain is the son of fortune. In such a difficult time, it seems entirely possible to explore a historic site. The existence of the realm great saint, even in the immortal domain, is not too much. Every great saint, in addition to their own powerful strength, may also have this terrifying force behind them. A great saint environment, if there is no stock, it is impossible, Ye Yun doesn't believe it at all. In the immortal domain, before leaving, many powerhouses will leave their own inheritance, in order to let the own inheritance pass on. Therefore, in many unknown places, many inheritances of historical sites have been preserved, even the inheritance of demons. However, if people of great influence discover the inheritance of the demon, they will do their best to destroy it. Demons are very terrifying existences. In the immortal domain, demons cannot exist. Once the demons run rampant in the immortal domain, it is likely to cause turmoil in the entire immortal domain. Ye Yun thought for a while, then said to Yunlin again, Continue to monitor him and see what he wants to do. If he enters a certain historic site, Yun Lan, you can follow him in but you must pay attention to safety issues. Remember, you must report to me as soon as possible in case of any situation. If you encounter a force majeure situation, your safety is the priority. When she heard the last sentence, Yun Lan froze on the spot. I thought Ye Yun would say that everything should be the most important thing, but it turned out that he made himself the most important in safety. This made Yun Lan a little unresponsive for a while, and even thought that she had heard it wrong. After a while, Still did not get a response, Ye Yun frowned slightly, and asked again, Yunlin, did you hear that? Hearing this voice, Yunlin finally realized that she was a little touched. So he quickly responded, Yes, young master, I will keep an eye on him as much as possible. Then, the two cut off communication. Yunlan came to the window and looked through the window at the hotel opposite. 
Although I don't know which room Yu Fengshen lives in, I can be sure that this guy is staying in this hotel and has not left. This room just happened to be able to see everything outside the hotel opposite, and could find out whether Yu Fengshen would come out anytime and anywhere. In order to monitor Yu King Mountain, Yunlin just waited quietly by the window. For those whose cultivation base has reached a certain realm, cultivation can make up for their lack of sleep. Although she was monitoring Yuking Mountain, Yunlin was thinking about other things. She was very puzzled. Ye Yun seems to have changed a lot since Qi deviation, and often cared about her as a subordinate. If it was the previous Ye Yun, it would be impossible to say that. Such a big change after Qi deviation is really incredible. But it is certain that this is the young master of own, perhaps Qi deviation has made his mind clearer a lot. Anyway, Yunlin thinks that the current young master is pretty good, much better than the spoiled and domineering young master in the past. On the second day, the land of the Yu family. For two full days, Yu Qingshan did not appear in everyone's field of vision. If you were going to cultivate, someone should have informed others, but they didn't, and the whole person seemed to disappear. Something was obviously wrong, so Yu Fen arranged for people to search around, but they didn't find any trace. Recalling Yu Qingshan's angry expression when he learned that Yu Eming Kong was sent to Ye Yun. Thinking of this, Yu Fen suddenly felt a sudden shock. Could it be that this kid went looking for Ye Yun recklessly? According to the stubborn temper of this kid, maybe it is really possible to do such a thing. You must know that the other party is the young master of the Ye family, so how could he be able to offend an ordinary Tongtian child from his one month? Family. If this angered the other party and caused the Yu family to be exterminated, that would be really not worth the candle. Feeling uneasy, Yu Qingshan immediately sent a message to his daughter Yu Mingkong. He wanted to inquire about news from his own daughter and see what Yu Qingshan had done. Yu Efen, who was very disturbed in his heart, finally contacted Yu Mingkong after several times. Of contact. Father, why are you looking for me in such a hurry? Inside the communication stone, Yu Mingkong's doubtful voice sounded. Gilu, Mingkong, I want to ask you something. Where did Yu Qingshan go two days? Could it be, he went to find the young master of the Ye family. There was a faint fear in Yu Efen's heart, he really didn't want this matter to be what he thought. About this. Matter is really what I think, I'm afraid the more I can't get rid of it. Ye Yun didn't punish the Yu family after that, probably because he just didn't think about it. If he remembered one day, the Yu family might not be able to bear the responsibility. Yu Ming Kong on the side of the communication stone was silent for a while, and continued after a while. Yu Qingshan, he did come, and he came to challenge the young master. When he first heard the word challenge, Yu Efen couldn't help breathing quickly, and his eyes widened. Now he can't wait to catch Yu Qingshan out and give him a hard lesson. What's the result? Is the young master injured? Yu Qingshan, a brat, dared to do such a thing, and he didn't discuss it with me? Don't let me catch him, or I must make him look good? At this moment, Yu Efen was very worried. If this incident involves the Yu family, wouldn't everything be over? I personally gave my daughter to Ye Yun in order to appease the other party's anger. It turned out to be a good thing. This bastard Yu Qingshan actually did such a thing, which made Own's hard work go to waste. How could he not be angry? Regarding this matter, Yu Ming Kong was naturally very clear and did not hide anything. It's okay, father, the young master didn't. He angered our family because of this matter and he didn't plan to punish our Yu family because of this matter. After hearing the news, Yu Efen, whose heart had been tightly pinched, finally breathed a sigh of relief. If Ye Yun hates the entire Yu family because of this incident, then the problem will be really troublesome. Fortunately, the prime minister of the other party was able to hold a boat in his belly, and he didn't blame the whole Yu family because of this incident. I see, Ming Kong, served the young master well, as long as you serve him with all your heart there will definitely be a place for you by his side in the future. As for Yu Qingshan, this guy dared to do something that endangered the family, so he shouldn't stay in the family. Speaking of this, a cold light flashed in Yu Efen's eyes. Although he admires Yu King Mountain very much, it doesn't mean that he will pamper Yu Qingshan. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Chapter 46, For the Sake of the Family, Yu Feng Can Even Give Away His Own Daughter let alone Yu Qingshan. And Yu Mingkong, who was on the other side of the communication stone, felt a little bitter in his heart after hearing his father's words. 
Bai Ye Yun sighed, it is destined that he cannot be the only one. Counting Xia He, Chu Lan, and Yun Shi who came here. Suddenly just now, there are already four people. This is how long, if you wait until later, I am afraid there will only be more. But Yu Ming Kong has no choice at all, she has no other choice but to accept it now. Sighing slightly, Yu Ming Kong responded bitterly. Oh, yes, father, I know what to do. How much she misses the past, when she can be appreciated by practicing hard, instead of serving. A man like she is now. Then, the two cut off the communication. Yu Feng, who had already heard the news, thought that he had to express it immediately. What Yu Qingshan did before has nothing to do with their Yu family. Therefore, Yu Fen immediately summoned all the elders and told all the elders about this matter. What? That brat Yu Qingshan dared to do such a thing? Is he tired of living? Bastard? How dare you challenge young master Ye Yun behind our backs? Does he think our family has lived too long? Such a person must never stay in the family? Drive him out of the family. That's right. This guy must not be allowed to continue to run amok. After he is expelled from the family, everything about him has nothing to do with us. Fortunately, young master Ye Yun is magnanimous and didn't pursue our Yu family because of this matter, otherwise it would be really troublesome. After hearing all these things, the elders were filled with righteous indignation. They even felt chills down their backs, and almost died of anger. Who would have imagined that Yu Qingshan would be able to do such a dangerous act? If Ye Yun really wanted to investigate, the entire Yu family might be in danger of being destroyed. Seeing the righteous indignation of the elders, Sukakazi nodded. Pressing down gently with both hands, he said loudly, Okay, all elders, since everyone has realized the seriousness of this matter, as the head of the family, I have an obligation to protect the safety of the family. So I decided, from now on, to expel Yu Qingshan from the family. And he will no longer be a member of our Yu family? The sonorous and powerful voice was very firm, without any hesitation at all. All the elders present also nodded, and they thought so too. The big elder stroked his gray beard and agreed. That's right. Drive this black sheep out of the family, and from now on, there will be no such person as Yu Qingshan in our Yu family. Since the patriarch and the elder elder have already said so, the remaining elders naturally don't have any opinions. Afterwards, he immediately passed on the news to let everyone know that the Yu family was not behind Yu King Mountain. So from this moment, Yu Qingshan lost his family, and from now on the Yu family will not protect him. And on the other side, here is Ye Yun. He suddenly received a prompt from the system again. Ding! Yu Qingshan was expelled from the Yu family, and from now on, he has nothing to do with the Yu family, and lost 500 luck points. Congratulations to the master for getting 500 villain points. Currently has a villain value of 1000 points. When he got the news, Ye Yun was still a little shocked. Unexpectedly, Yu Qingshan was expelled from the Yu family, and he gained another 500 villain points inexplicably. At this time, Yu Ming Kong walked in from the outside, Ye Yun looked up and saw her. Ye Yun had probably guessed it when he saw Yu Ming Kong. Perhaps it was Yu Ming Kong who told the Yu family about Yu Qingshan's challenge to own, and the Yu family, who was worried that he would be implicated, immediately expelled Yu Qingshan from the family. The purpose of doing this is to avoid getting involved with the Yu family, and to put aside as much as possible the relationship with Yu Qingshan. He <laughs> he. Shaking his head and smiling, Ye Yun didn't expect that he could get villain value without doing anything, which is still very good. Seeing Ye Yun's inexplicable smile, Yu Ming Kong felt a little puzzled. Nothing happened here, why is Ye Yun laughing? Although he was somewhat puzzled, Yu Ming Kong didn't take the initiative to ask. As Ye Yun is only promoted as a maid, she will naturally know what she should know, and she must not ask about things she shouldn't know. On this point, Xia He had already made it very clear to Yu Ming Kong. Therefore, although Yu Ming Kong was curious, he forcibly held back and did not take the initiative to ask Ye Yun. At this moment, Ye Yun's voice came, bringing Yu Ming Kong back to reality in an instant. Just now, you should have summoned your father, right? When hearing this, Yu Ming Kong's eyes widened, and his pupils contracted suddenly. She had deliberately paid attention to her surroundings just now, and only after confirming that there was no one around did she send a message to Yu Fen. In the end, I didn't expect that what I did so secretly was discovered. In a panic, he quickly lowered his head, 
Yu Mingkong clenched his hands tightly, very nervous. Xia He also taught before that one must not pass any news about the young master to other people. However, Yu Mingkong completely forgot about this just now, and he only remembered it now. This, young master, it was my father who contacted me on his own initiative. My father wanted to know if Yu Qingshan had done something out of line. Other than that, I really didn't say anything. At this time, Yu Mingkong suddenly felt a little scared. She forgot about this episode just now, but now that she thinks about it, she feels a little scared in her heart. If Ye Yun disliked him because of this incident, wouldn't he have no chance at all in the future? She knew she couldn't stop Ye Yun from looking for other women, but she didn't want to be just a personal maid either. In Yu Mingkong's field of vision when he lowered his head, a figure suddenly appeared, standing in front of her at some point. Even just looking at the clothes, she knew that the person standing in front of her was Ye Yun. Looking down at you, Ming Kong, Ye Yun gently lifted her chin with her index finger. I saw that Yu Ming Kong's eyes were full of tension, and his whole body was tense. You should know that I don't like people telling other people about me, no matter how small it is. On this point, I think Xia He should have made it clear to you, but, you said why did you commit the crime? Ye Yun gently pinched Yu Ming Kong's chin, forcing Yu Ming Kong and On to look at each other. Yu Ming Kong, whose chin was pinched, didn't dare to resist with his hands at all, so he clenched his fists tightly. At this moment, she felt her own heart, as if being pinched by something. Chapter 47, she seemed unable to even pant loudly. Young, young master, I know I was wrong, I just forgot about it, I was wrong about this matter, I'm sorry, I really know I was wrong, I promise, there will never be a next time, and I will never reveal any secrets about the young master again, please trust me. Yu Ming Kong felt very aggrieved in his heart. But what else can she do now besides begging for mercy? Could it be, to rise up and resist? There is no need to think about this at all, Yu Ming Kong is not a fool. Rebelling against Ye Yun, isn't that indirectly tantamount to courting death? Even though he felt very aggrieved in his heart, Yu Ming Kong still admitted his own mistake. She is very scared now, if Ye Yun really wants to do something to her, she will be unable to resist anyway. Wrong? Is it just a wrong sentence? Since it is wrong, it should be punished, don't you think? Ye Yun transferred her fingers to you, Ming Kong's delicate and pretty face, and gently rubbed back and forth on that fair and delicate face. Yu Ming Kong, who was already very nervous, breathed a sigh of relief after learning that Ye Yun was going to punish him. If you punish yourself, it means that nothing will happen to you. The trembling Yu Ming Kong plucked up the courage to ask, Young master, what kind of punishment do you want? She didn't know what kind of punishment she would face, but she knew that this punishment would probably be unforgettable to her heart. Hearing this, looking at the nervous Yu Ming Kong, Ye Yun smiled lightly. What kind of punishment do I want? Ha ha, how about this? Xia He and Chu Lan don't need to serve me in the bath tonight, you come. When he learned of the punishment he was about to accept, Yu Ming Kong was stunned. She has been here for a few days, but most of the time she spent learning from Xia He and Chu Lan how to become a personal servant girl. There is no need for her to do things like serving Ye Yun to take a bath. The most important thing is that Xia He and Chu Lan are worried that Yu Ming Kong is not doing well enough, and if Ye Yun gets angry, it will be bad. Therefore, for so long, Yu Ming Kong has served Ye Yun to bathe. Now that such a condition was suddenly raised, Yu Ming Kong was also very nervous. She was terrified in her heart. After all, this was something that had never happened to her. For a moment, Yu Ming Kong fell into hesitation. Seeing Yu Ming Kong whose face was full of confusion and whose hands were constantly stirring together, Ye Yun pretended not to know and asked, What? Do you have any opinions on my punishment? If you have any opinions, you can take the initiative to raise them. Don't worry, I am a very democratic person. If you have any opinions, you can raise them. Of course, Ye Yun said that was all he said, and he could bring it up if he raised it, but whether he did it or not was his business. After struggling for a while, Yu Ming Kong's eyes became firm. I am just a personal servant girl now, if I want to win Ye Yun's favor, it is impossible to just rely on what I usually do. Because Xia He and Chu Lan can do all the things they can do, there is no need for them. Taking a deep breath, Yu Ming Kong's originally tangled expression suddenly became firm. A pair of beautiful eyes stared closely at Ye Yun, and responded nervously. Okay, okay, I see, I 
will prepare in advance. After finishing speaking, Yu Mingkong hurriedly withdrew. She didn't dare to stay here any longer. If Ye Yun made some other excessive demands, she might not be able to accept them. The problem is that even if she can't accept it, she can't resist it. At this moment, in Kanglin City, after a night of rest, Yu Qingxian, who had been exhausted for a long time, had finally recovered. For some reason, he always felt uncomfortable when he got up early this morning, as if something was leaving him. But what exactly this kind of thing is, he didn't figure it out. Right now, he doesn't have time to think about what's there and what's not. What he needs to do most right now is to find that historic site as soon as possible. Find a useful inheritance, or something. Useful to yourself, so that you can become stronger in a short time. As long as he cultivates a stronger talent and catches up with Yayun as much as possible, then maybe he can take back the master and give it to himself to break the army sword. That's right, Yu Qingxin no longer thinks about Yu Kong. Because in his opinion, Yu Kong is no longer the Yu Kong he used to be, and the other party has succumbed to Yayun's despotic power. For such a person, if she went to save her by herself, not only would she not be grateful, but she would seriously hurt her with bad words. It was a waste of time. Now, Yu Qingxin's real worry is about Po Junjian. You must know that it is a samsara device, which is very powerful, and it is the most powerful collection of the master. But now, this sword was lost by him, and he wanted to get it back no matter what. Otherwise, how could I be worthy of the master's love for own teaching, and fell into a deep sleep because of myself? No matter what I say, I will take back the broken army sword bestowed by the master, no matter what the cost. I don't have time to think so much, this ruin, I have to go there today. Yu Ching Shan, who had already made up his mind, quickly packed up his own luggage and started to set off again. In order not to attract attention, Yu Ching Shan did not choose to ride the airspeed beast. After all, this is not the outside world. It is best to keep a low profile in the city, or you may be targeted by some people. Once being targeted, it is not easy to get rid of it. Yun Lan, who had chosen to rest at the hotel opposite, had barely rested and was in the middle of her cultivation. Let go of own perception, try to feel Yu Qingxian's movements as much as possible. When Yu Qingxian packed up his things and left the hotel, Yun Lan just quit his cultivation. As soon as I came to the window, I happened to see Yu Qingxian who came out of the hotel and was about to leave. After tidying up briefly, Yun Lan didn't want to get lost at this time, so she followed immediately. In order not to be discovered, Yun Lan purposely chose to keep her far away. His own concealment skill is one of the best existences. Under such circumstances, Yu Qingxian still did not find Yun Lan. After leaving Kanglin City, Yu Qingxian followed the map clearly remembered in his mind and headed all the way to the destination. It was a forest that looked like a dead tree, with all kinds of dead branches and leaves everywhere and there was almost no life. The slightly gloomy environment makes people feel a little creepy here. No one knows why this place is like this. Anyway, it has been many years, and generally no one is willing to approach this place, because it is said that those who enter here will never return in the end. Chapter 48 After checking the map several times, Yu Ching Shan finally confirmed that the place he was looking for was here. Although the surroundings have turned into a withered and dead silence, there is no doubt that the record on the map is here. According to the records described on the map, after arriving at the location, if you want to open the historical sites hidden here, you need to have the corresponding key. As for this key, before Master Yu Qingxin fell into a deep sleep, he had already given that key to him. After nervously looking around, Yu Qingxian took out the key after making sure that there was no one else around. It was a stone like white jade, engraved with some strange characters which seemed difficult to understand. Afterwards, Yu Ching Shan followed the master to teach own formulas, and began to read some strange words. Yun Lan, who had been hiding in the dark, didn't understand what these words were at all. Slightly frowning, she looked at Yu Ching Shan who was very serious at the moment, and she also knew that this guy was definitely not cheating. I don't know where the language is, but it sounds so strange. Soon, after the corresponding incantation was finished, the white jade-like stone in Yu Qingxian's hand actually emitted bursts of fluorescence. Immediately afterwards, I saw that piece of fluorescent stone like white jade slowly rising into the air, bursting out bursts of bright white light. Even Yun Lan, who was far away, could feel the glaring white light, and had to look away. 
Not long after, when the white light gradually dimmed, Yun Lan looked again, only to find that there was no one there. What? Looking in disbelief at the location where Yuking Mountain was just now, Yun Lan couldn't believe that she had lost track of her. She just lost her vision of Yuking Mountain just now, but she didn't expect that she was gone in the blink of an eye. Could it be, is it the piece of white jade emitting? White light just now. I heard before that that guy was going to enter somewhere, but now he suddenly disappeared, as if the world had evaporated. It is likely that people have already entered. It's just that I don't know how the deist incident got into it for the time being, and I don't know where that guy has gone now. Yun Lan, who has no results for the time being, can only pass the news to Ya. Yun. Ya Yun, who heard the news, probably guessed that Yuking Mountain must have entered a certain ancient site, and that so-called white jade like stone should be the key to the entrance. I just didn't expect that you must hold a key to get in. I can't find a way to get in at the moment, but Ya Yun doesn't intend to let it go. He asked Yunlin to stay where she was for the time being, waiting for Yu Qingxin to appear. As long as this guy wants to come back, he will definitely appear again. After cutting off the arraignment, a sneer appeared on Ye Yun's face. He wasn't worried at all about Yu Qingxin escaping from his own palm, it didn't exist. It is not so easy to escape the palm of own. He entered that ancient site, maybe there will be a very dangerous trial waiting for him. After Yu Qingxian came out, he snatched those things again, and everything he got through hard work was left behind by his own aureole. It felt too much to think about it. However, who made this guy himself a son of fortune? If he is not too much for a son of fortune, is he too much for himself? At this time, Kyolan's voice suddenly came from outside the house. Young master, it's time for us to go to the reception hall. Many people have already arrived. Hearing the voice, Ye Yun came back to his senses and then remembered what his mother Yunyeo said to him today. There will be guests at home, and then I need to go out of the city to let everyone know. That's right, the guests. And it's not just one or two guests, but a lot of guests. A lot of people came one after another in the Ye family. They all came here after receiving invitations from the Ye family. These people came to Ye's house at this time to congratulate them. As for what to congratulate, of course it is to congratulate Ye Yun for recovering from Qi Deviation. Knowing Qi Deviation is a very dangerous thing, and you may even die if you are not careful. Being lighter may also lead to lifelong inability to cultivate, which is something that practitioners are very taboo about. Ye Yun's ability to recover from Qi Deviation without a decline in strength is certainly something to celebrate. This is Ye Chang Kong's intention, to let more people know how good own son is, even Qi Deviation can't beat him. The people who came to congratulate were almost all the big and small forces in the area under the jurisdiction of the Ye family. There are various forces such as Dynasty Sect, etc. These forces have been sheltered by the Ye family all year round. In this case, of course they have to come to congratulate. They have already received invitations from the Ye family. If they don't come to congratulate them, it will be very difficult to survive in the Ye family's jurisdiction in the future. The leaders of these forces are naturally very aware of this, and they dare not be negligent at all. Choose the more cherished gifts and come to the door one by one. For this reason, the Ye family also held a big banquet to welcome these guests. This feast was held on the huge platform outside the reception hall of the Ye family, which was large enough to accommodate tens of thousands of people. Such a magnificent and grand scene makes people feel shocking at first glance. There are a lot of fairy fruits on each table, all of which are rare things that can help cultivation. Those delicacies are all made of a variety of rare materials, and every time you eat a dish, you can feel the power of the fairy in your body. It is the Ye family that can be so grand, because this matter is a special event, so many people come to congratulate. Of course, ordinary people can't come to this feast, they must bring an invitation card, and they can only enter after their identity is verified. If it is found that the person who came here is completely different from the person in the plot, or even has nothing to do with it, then it will be judged to be a mess and there will be extremely severe punishment. Although so many people have been accommodated here, the venue is not very noisy, and everyone only dares to discuss in a low voice. Here, they dare not make any noise. Once noticed, it is likely to be a very dangerous thing. In the Ye family, one must abide by the rules of the Ye family, this is a must. I heard that Ye Yun, the young master of the Ye family, 
actually manage to withstand the influence of qi deviation. I don't know if it's true. Can this be false? I believe it must be true. That's right. There's no need for the Ye family to cheat on this matter. They don't need to use such methods yet. How can the Ye family be compared to a small force like us? It is completely useless to deceive us. Chapter 49 While everyone was discussing, there was a sudden roar in the sky. A burst of sunlight gradually spread towards this side from a distance. Then I saw several rare unicorns and fairy beasts coming slowly, pulling a luxurious car. On the luxurious carriage, there is a very conspicuous fairy lotus, and there is a clear knight character in the middle of the painting. When seeing the carriage gradually approaching, the representatives of various factions who had been sitting in their seats stood up, one after another to greet them, because they all know who the person riding on the carriage is. This very luxurious carriage finally landed on the open space beside the reception hall. Puff. One of the unicorn horses snorted, and there was arrogance in its eyes. Because the people in the car behind the one-horned fairy horse are of noble status, and they are people who must be respected by everyone present. Soon, the two maids came out, quickly opened the curtain in front of the carriage, bowed respectfully, as if they were welcoming the people in the carriage to come out. She was dressed in a light blue tulle fairy dress with beautiful long black hair, and a graceful figure, with her hands placed in front of her lower abdomen, full of tranquility and virtuousness. Isn't this person Ye Yun's mother, Yun Yeo? When they saw the lady of the Ye family, everyone bowed down and called respectfully. Hello Madam Ye, XN everyone is very respectful, and no one dares to look around. Because at this time, if the eyes dare to look around, it is very likely that the final consequence will be to go out again. Beside Yunyeo, there was still a person standing. She has a beautiful appearance, a long and slender body, and a long pure white dress, which seems to be shining brightly under the sunlight. Her complexion is calm and composed, like a fairy who does not eat fireworks. She, of course, is Yunxi who arrived here yesterday. After seeing Yunzi, many people were surprised to be Deva. Such a beautiful fairy naturally attracted many people's hearts. But it's a pity that... They know their own identity very well. The person who can be with Yunyeo, the wife of the Ye family, and the two of them have a little similar appearance, they are likely to be related. So someone boldly speculated that this person might be from the Yun family, and his status was not low. Looking down at the representatives of thousands of forces below, Yun Yao nodded slightly, and led Yun Shi to the middle position. Everyone, take your seats. Zheng Neng's voice rang in his ears, and everyone could hear it clearly. They responded one after another, returning to their own seats one by one, and sat down quietly. They had discussions before, but now they dare not make any noise. Ye Chang Kong has his own affairs to deal with, such scenes are usually handed over to Yun Yeo. Therefore, Yun Yeo naturally represents the Ye family. These people in front are very clear that they are now in the territory of the Ye family, and the person they are facing is the wife of the Ye family, so they must not show any disrespect. Otherwise, it is very likely to be killed because of a word or an action. Yun Yao has already arrived, but she found that her own son Ye Yun, who is obviously the protagonist of this banquet, has not arrived. Frowning slightly, Yun Yao turned her head and glanced at the servant beside her, and asked in a low voice, Where's the young master? Why hasn't he come yet? Didn't I have someone notify him? The servant was also very nervous when he was asked suddenly, so he responded quickly, Ma'am, the young master has already notified you, and you should be on your way. Now, he only knew this, and he knew what to say, but he didn't dare to make any conclusions. When doing things in the Ye family, one must be extremely careful, and one must not speculate, otherwise, the final result may be very miserable. Knowing that Ye Yun has not come yet, Yun Yao shook her head helplessly. Hey, this brat, obviously he is the protagonist, but he hasn't come at this time. Really. Although there is a slight complaint in the tone, it shows the mother's care. Besides her own husband Ye Chang Kong, the person she loves the most is naturally own son Ye Yun. It can be said that since childhood, I have held it in my hand for fear of falling, and held it in my mouth for fear of melting. At this time, Yun Shi who was at the side gently pulled Yun Yao's clothes, and pointed to the distant sky. Auntie, Yun Er is here. Looking over where Yun Zi pointed, he saw four kylans galloping in the sky. It rushed towards this side at a fast speed, and then seemed to drag out traces of blue streamer. In Kylan's car, 
Yayun naturally noticed that all the guests below had arrived. However, he was in no hurry. As long as he is not in a hurry, the people below will not be in a hurry. This is the benefit of a powerful force. No one dared to take the initiative to provoke themselves, and no one dared to be impatient with themselves. Young master, there are a lot of guests here today. Seeing so many guests outside through the window, Xiaohe's eyes were full of surprise. I thought there would be many guests coming, but I didn't expect so many guests to come. There have been such a grand scale before, but it was also a very important event held by the family, and all forces came to participate. Xiaohe has seen even more grand scenes than this. I just didn't expect so many people to come to the banquet after Yayun Chi deviation this time. This scale is indeed very large, and I am afraid that it will cost a lot of spirit stones just to entertain these people. But, the Ye family is rich and powerful, so they don't care about this at all. In addition to the profound background, the forces of all parties also need to pay a lot of tribute to the Ye family every year. This amount is extremely huge, and it is nothing to give them a little back and forth now, not to mention that they have to send generous gifts. But no one dares to come here for nothing, unless they really don't want to live. Ye Yun shrugged slightly, and said indifferently, Come on, come, I'm afraid it should be invited by my mother, otherwise there should not be so many people. I also know that it must be such a big scene caused by my mother Yun Yeo. However, Ye Yun doesn't dislike such a big scene, it can be bigger. Ye Yun took this opportunity to find out if there was a son of fortune or daughter of luck among them. If you find a son of fortune, then find a way to concoct it well and snatch their luck. If you meet a daughter of luck, it is not impossible to cultivate it well, and it is not impossible to earn it under your command, just like you Ming Kong now. The guests who had been sitting down noticed the speeding Kailin car, and stood up quickly one by one. Of course, they knew who the person in the Kailin car was. In the entire immortal domain, there is only one person who can have four Kailins with different attributes pulling carts, and that is Ye Yun. That is the protagonist of today's banquet. Chapter 50 Many powerful people even came to the scene, including the elders of the sect family, but at this moment, everyone stood up respectfully. Among them, there are even saint-level existences, but they still dare not show any disrespect, because they know very well who the coming one is. The young master of the Ye family, although he is still young, his strength is far behind those of them, but the identity of the other party is an existence that they cannot provoke. Once Ye Yun is angered, I am afraid that not only they will suffer, but also their family members, and even sect. Therefore, no one dares to put on airs here, they dare not, and they are not qualified. The Mercedes-Benz Kylin car landed in an instant, and stopped firmly beside the unicorn fairy's carriage. These one-horned fairy horses are slightly weaker than the four Kylins, and bloodlines are not as strong as Kylins. The one-horned fairy horse whose head was almost raised to the sky, now carefully lowered his head, not even daring to look directly at S.I. Kylin. They knew very well that the adult sitting in that car was the son of their mistress, and they were not something they could afford to provoke. If they accidentally offended the person in the car, their grandmother would definitely kill them alive without hesitation. Facing outsiders, they can indeed turn their nostrils up. But facing this one, they must lower their heads. Ye Yun stepped out of Kylin's car first, followed by three personal maids. Xiaohe and Xiu Lan had also attended many banquets before, so after seeing such a scene, they didn't feel much in their hearts. But Yu Ming Kong, who has just become a personal servant girl, has no such experience. She once participated in some feasts with her father Yu Efen, but she appeared as a guest. But this time it was different, she was at the top. Although she is not the master, she is one of Ye Yun's only personal maids. Being able to stand on this is a symbol of status. For a moment, Yu Ming Kong felt a sense of pride from the bottom of his heart. Looking at a group of people standing respectfully below, there are many big brothers whose fathers must be respectful when they see each other, but at this moment they are standing respectfully below. Yu Ming Kong felt a sense of pride in his heart, as if owning his identity was not so difficult to accept. Immediately afterwards, I heard the people below shouting in unison. Welcome young master, XN even a boss as powerful as Saint is still humble. Facing such a grand scene, Ye Yun felt nothing at all. The reason why these people are willing to respect and even bow down to him is because of his status as the young master of the Ye family. This feeling, 
is simply not too good. So what are you trying to do? You can enjoy the shade under the big tree, and you have such a good family background. Why doesn't he make good use of it? Nodding slightly, Ye Yoon said calmly with a blank face. Everyone, please take your seats. Yeah. Yun's light and breezy appearance gives people the impression that he is a very wealthy young master. After getting a response, these people dare to sit down. Among so many people below, Yu Feng is also listed here. Originally, Yu Fen didn't need to come in person to attend such a grand banquet. After all, as the head of the family, he also had his own affairs to deal with. But this time he had to come. Because, he was worried that Ye Yun would implicate the Yu family because of Yu Qingshan. But usually it is very difficult to ask to see Ye Yun, even if he is the head of the Yu family, he can't see him at all. I can only take advantage of this opportunity to come here, my own daughter is serving Ye Yun, maybe I can have a chance to have a few words with Ye Yun alone. Judge what the other party is thinking, if it doesn't hurt the Yu family, this is naturally the best. The bosses at the scene had to respectfully look up at Ye Yun above, and own daughter stood behind Ye Yun, Yu Feng felt very face. Even if Own's daughter is just a personal servant girl now, who can say for sure what will happen in the future? In case the Own daughter can gain a bit of status in the future, it will benefit the entire Yu family immensely. The following family, sect, who has some connections with the Yu family, naturally also noticed Yu Mingkong standing behind Ye Yun. All of them were full of astonishment, and they probably knew something about why Ye Yun had Qi deviation. It's just that I didn't expect that Yu Mingkong, the chief culprit of Ye Yun Qi deviation, was able to stand. They're safe and sound, which is simply unimaginable. And looking at it like this, Yu Mingkong's identity should be similar to Ye Yun's two personal servant girls. The victim Ye Yun Qi deviation was not severely punished, but instead became Ye Yun's personal maid. They all found it incredible. How did that happen? After Ye Yun Qi deviation wakes up, shouldn't Yu Mingkong be severely punished? Even with the Yu family, it is even possible to exterminate the family. But unexpectedly, things seemed to be completely different from what they thought. Instead, Yu Ming Kong became Ye Yun's personal maid, and the Yu family was still safe and sound. This made them completely incomprehensible. In their view, it was a great honor for Yu Ming Kong to be Ye Yun's personal maid. They don't have a daughter, but they don't think their own daughter can be liked by Ye Yun. Even if Own's daughter is good looking, Ye Yun must be able to catch her eyes. This month's family, it feels like they got lucky, they didn't get punished. Just so, I'm used to it after saying it. This month Ming Kong made such a big mistake, but he was not killed, but stayed with young master Ye Yun instead. I really don't understand. Maybe it's because the young master has a big heart, because Yu Ming Kong is bothered about this matter, and making her a maid is also to punish her. This is no punishment. This is simply an honor. If my daughter can be valued by the young master, it is enough to be a personal maid. I think it's because the young master likes Yu Ming Kong very much, that's why he keeps her by his side. It's really affectionate. Everyone has their own views and opinions, but without exception, these people are all envious of Yu Ming Kong and the Yu family. In their view, being able to become Ye Yun's personal maid may become the person in the house in the future. At that time, the family will definitely be blessed by the Ye family. And as long as the Ye family reveals a little bit from their fingers, they will be excited for a long time. If their own daughter can become Ye Yun's personal maid, then they are really thankful to their ancestors. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.